Hi, it's Erin from Achieving Balance Kinesiology. Today's little video is on muscle testing. Hopefully, at the end of the video, um, you will be able to master the art of muscle testing and have some ideas on how you can use it in your everyday life to achieve, I guess, the best balance that we can achieve and connect to our divine energy and our, you know, our subconscious mind. That sounds pretty perfect to me. So I'll start with the easiest one of all, the sway method. The aim of the sway method is to use your whole body as a pendulum. With the table out of the way, you have your two feet on the ground and you need to have your center of your energy um, in between your feet. So coming, stacking up all your body and you're pushing into the ground and you're just feeling really connected. Um, the idea is that as a pendulum, it's your body weight and you're looking, you're not looking, you're feeling and you're connecting with all your little muscles tones on which way your body will sway. So there's a few different things to remember here. The first one to remember that everybody will have their own unique sway. So the way that I sway might be different to the person that would, the next person that's um, doing the pendulum method. And it's also can be a little bit different depending on uh, what's happening with your energy, where you're at, and if you have any energetic reversals um, happening on that day. Um, so you might need to sort that out first before you can actually really connect with the art of muscle testing through the sway method. So I like to calibrate. Like anything, we calibrate even when we're in clinic, we do the calibration to make sure that you are uh, physically, emotionally, and uh, biochemically switched on. So with the sway method, we, cal we calibrate a little bit by using our language and our questioning. We want to have a question that has both a positive and negative outcome with keeping the context of the question the same. So I'd like to start with a really, really easy yes or no. So if I adjust to keep my eyes open and just connect with the feelings that are happening within my body, if I say yes, and I have a four forward approach. So I'll turn it on the side just so that you can see that a little bit clearer. So yes, and it's a definite forward. So then I am going to change that up a little bit and I'm going to say no, no. And it's the intention behind that. So it's a muscle test with the intention. My next question that I'm going to ask myself and my energy is, do I want to be healthy? Okay. So I want to be healthy. Okay. Yes. I don't want to be healthy. No. So I want to be sick. Definitely no. I don't want to be sick. So I've got a yes. Okay, remembering that we're keeping the question the same, a yes or no response, um, allowing for a positive and negative response within the same context. Um, and then I like to flip it around just so that we can see that. Often, if we have any reversals or sub-sabotage, or blockages, um, it comes up in that we want to be sick, um, we want to be unhealthy kind of aspect. You might be falling forward and giving a less a yes response to say, I want to be healthy, but actually I also want to be sick. And that's a big indication that whatever is making you sick or that aspect of sickness is actually serving a bigger purpose. Uh, and I would highly recommend you come into the clinic and sort that out. Um, the next question that we play around with is just our name. So if I was to say my name is, my name is Erin, my name is Emily, and I've got a no response, and I might say, I might continue on and have a practice with um, my birthday is my, all the things that you identify with, um, my age is to just get a little bit of an understanding of which way you sway. The other, the other little, the other little extra um, and I've often used this in the classroom, is to then start to feel what is a maybe response. So to just say with the intention of a maybe answer and see what your body does. I kind of just sort of wobble around, not like if I am to feel it, I'm not actually really wobbling in a circle. I've kind of got a little bit of a figure of eight, but I'm the way that my body feels is I've got more of a triangular figure of eight where I hit the corners of a square, but I cross um, diagonally through the center. Okay, so that is our pendulum method. 
The next method that is a really common method to use, and I've got a little printout for this, is the ring method. And this is where you're muscle testing your middle finger to your middle finger. Okay, so we're using our grip strength um, and we're seeing when we have, so when we have a negative response, our grip strength won't actually be able to hold our finger to our thumb and hold that grip and it will have an on-off. So we're using the same muscles to get the same force. So we're using, we've got the muscles that are pulling in and contracting um, and then we have our muscles on the ring finger that's coming through the center and that is actually going to just extend. Okay, so we have a show me, I like to say show me a yes. Okay, and the yes feels really, really strong. And then I would say show me a no, and I can get that apart. Show me a yes, and show me a no. Okay, and that this is the method that I will use the most uh, if I'm not using the actual sway method. If I am at home and I'm muscle testing things, I will use um, what I call the ring method. Um, and if I'm out in public, I use the sway method a little bit more. There are a few other methods that you can use. I, there's where I, you just test one finger and I find that I use my middle finger to push down on my pointer finger and I have the same. So show me a yes and that feels really strong and show me a no, I can feel a weakness within that finger there. And another more complicated uh, method to get used to is just the rubbing and the feeling for the fingerprints. So essentially, if you've got a stress response, your fingerprint becomes really sticky as if you're trying to grab on and hold and you can feel your little grooves within your fingerprint. And when it is a, uh, a non-stressed or a relaxed uh, response, then you can feel, um, then you can feel it nice and smooth. So if I say no, I can feel the friction coming in between my fingers and yes, become smooth again. So I, I want to be healthy. I can feel that smoothness and I want to be sick. I start to feel those fingerprints. Um, I find that the fingerprint response takes a lot to get used to. Um, and there's a lot of other factors that play on my mind and I will generally come back to the other methods anyway when I am muscle testing. Um, because like I always think, oh, maybe I'm sweaty, uh, maybe it's windy, maybe I've got water on my hand, do I have food on my hands, have I not washed my hands, all those kind of questions. Okay, so part two of this little video is how to...